Hello, everybody, and welcome to the round one front nine coverage of the 2021 Mixed Doubles World Championships at the Pro World Championships, sponsored by Innova Disc Golf. Again, this is a PDGA event. We are at the major. I'm joined here by Holly Finley. I'm Brian Earhart. Holly, this is an awesome event to have right before the World Championships. Oh, it's so much fun. I encourage anyone who attends Worlds to sign up for Mixed Dubs. It's probably the most fun you're going to have all week, unless, of course, you win the World Championship <laughs> title. We're out here at the Fort Disc Golf Course, which is where we played the Utah Open and the course that we'll also be using for the Professional World Championships. It is the more wooded course of the two that we're using for the Worlds, so the players are going to have to hit those lines Lines, make those putts and make really strategic choices with their doubles partner as you see we're starting in hole five there was a shotgun start it is a two round one day event first round they're going to have some modified best shot and then second round we're going to have some modified alternate shot best shot again both players throw they pick their best lie and move on from there here's germ i love this hole Oh yeah, such a short par four, but again, you watch Germs drive nice and simple AVR X3 to the middle, and Paige is going to get aggressive with this one more than likely. Yeah, I prefer to have a shot that hooks around that corner. See if Paige can sneak around there. Yes, so now you have a more open look at the basket. You don't really have to shape anything to the basket. It's just straight ahead. And one of my favorite players of all time, Juliana Corver. I'm so excited to watch her on this coverage and see what she has for this doubles contest. Gets it up, almost gets it to flat, hits an early tree. What a card we have today. Jeremy oh, yeah. Colling and Paige Pierce and then Calvin Heimberg and Juliana Corver. This is like my dream card to watch. Yeah. And nice Calvin move. potentially going with a Rhino, kind of a safe shot to put it in the fairway. This is a tough one to birdie no matter what. I love that play with a little ground flare skip up into the circle. That way you can try for a birdie three. And Juliana going with a turnover. That is such a tight line to throw the turnover through. It really is. Almost gets it. Calvin's forehand did get up there. They're going to have a look at a three. Paige going with a nice, soft landing, fierce. That was a good shot from the middle okay. of Narnia, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and Germ's laugh can be heard from miles away. As <laughs> anyone who's played remotely close to him, even in the same town. This is what I love about this tournament, is giving the green light to your partner to try to throw in. Paige said, I'll go swimming for it. <laughs> Jerm going it. high. No way. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. What the heck? He... No, he did not just throw that in on the very first hole. <laughs> wow. Wow, Jeremy. And he can't even run it down. That's too long wow. of a distance for Jerm. Paige is going to run it down. <laughs> Slap in the basket. Oh my gosh. Oh I got goosebumps and we're only on the first hole. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's going to be an entertaining round for us, Brian, and the viewers at home. Welcome to Disc Golf. And here's Juliana looking for the birdie. Trying not to get big putted. <gasps> Weak side. Just left. Here's Calvin from about 30 feet. Oh, rough. Right side low again, inches off of dropping into the basket. No worries here. <laughs> the par is actually all right on this hole, but then having your team, 
other team get an eagle is not easy to watch. Moving into number six, and you said this before in our Utah Open coverage, this is a tricky hole. There's been a lot of success, weirdly enough, going straight at the basket. Yeah, I have enjoyed watching all the creative shots the players come up with. Okay. I, I find this high turnover and then maybe a flex back towards the basket to be a popular shot amongst the FPO and MPO division. What has Jeremy got for us here? This is likely a less popular shot. I think he's going thumber. Yeah, he's going with a thumber here. If you have it, it's not a bad play. Oh, hi. Oh, wow. But forcing a flex out of a thumber. Mm. Didn't get much distance, but, you know, we'll see what they have when we get up there. Now you can swing around the outside and then Heiser back in and have a decent putt at it. And wow, she, she has really swung it wide, but got it all the way through everything. That is a circle two look. Calvin's going to go high left, hoping to take a stroke back on this team. It's going high side of the hill, little turnover. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a putt all day. That's fantastic. Okay, so they have some work to do here. 55, 60 feet. Maybe a little bit even longer. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, dang. Just off the front. Not quite. Let's see if Calvin and Juliana can get one on German Page here. Yes. Nice. Great shot from Calvin and a great putt from Juliana. They are back within one stroke. I would say these are two of some of the favorites to win the event right here. Yeah, I would agree with that for sure. Jeremy and Page have been playing doubles for such a long time. They've both been on the road for what seems like forever. It's awesome to see them continue this team uh, teamwork. Hole seven, this is the elevated tee. We're playing from the gold pad, 345 feet. You need to aim down and sometimes a slight anhyzer, hoping that your disc will hyzer back towards the basket or at least go straight. Um, you can see Calvin did get the hyzer back. It's a little shorter than you want though. You kind of feel like you need to push it farther than you think you should. See if Juliana can reach the green. Oh, this looks tasty. Look at this line. Get going. Oh, just mm. hit one of those trees in the middle. Like you said, push farther than you really think it has to. Almost stalling out at the end and falling left. There's so many trees on that left side. Ooh, a little bit of a misfire. Bad for Paige, great for Juliana. And there's a backhand from Germ. Oh, this looks good. Oh, no. I love this hole because it's usually a surprise when you get up there. And then it really gives you a lot of work just to get to the green. Ooh. Paige playing a little ultimate frisbee with the fierce sidearm. Let's see if Germ can drop another one in here. Go two for two. <laughs> ah, they were hoping for it. Oh, wow, that was pretty and floaty. Put some sauce on that one. A little bit long, but still inside circle one, I believe. And Calvin, one of these players that can jump putt from almost 100 feet. Kind of a nice utility to have around here. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. I do love how they left these uh, downed trees near the basket, so nice putt from Paige. Even though you're inside the circle, you still kind of have an obstructed putt, and I feel like that's really a uh, great thing to have here at the World Championship courses. Uh, some people aren't into it, but I'm for it 100%. You got to bring all creativity to the game.
Moving into number eight, the Y hole. Very challenging shot. We had mentioned it again in our previous coverage. Very challenging turnover line. If you're going righty backhand, it's so specific. We're going to see Julian attempt it, and honestly, no better player to watch try this line. She's using a putter oh. off the tee. Just a bit low. Yeah, you kind of have to push it really far forward without swinging it left whatsoever, which is tough because it's a left to right moving shot. Even Calvin's going with the sidearm here. Oh, wow, that, what an overstable so disc. overstable, hitting the wall. I mean, you can throw it in from there. Definitely. I feel like to get a um, realistic chance at a birdie, you need to make it over the wall at a minimum, or at least to the side of the wall. Paige is going with a soul here. Again, we've seen her throw some great shots on this hole in the past. Oh, it's going to sneak up there. That's flexing out. I mean, that'll work. A lot of people don't know this, but the high part of that hill, the mound, is actually out of bounds. Only the flat part of that sand hill behind the wall is in bounds. Oh Juliana going for a long one. Wow. And you may have just noticed we did not see Jeremy throw a drive. And you had mentioned that there is a rule to this best shot event that you can only take someone's drive two holes in a row max. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes, sir. Calvin for the bird. One thing I love about this format is oftentimes you can run at things more aggressively than you might um, in normal tournament play. Yeah, no ratings, no uh, real prize money on the line. Just straight up pride. Little too much mustard on that one. Let's see what Germ has for us. Interesting fact, Germ putts with P2s that are a lot lighter than like a standard player would putt with a lot of putter, uh, players like the max weight putters. He's putting, I believe, with high 160 gram P2s. I use a 169 gram putter, so I can appreciate that. Yeah. Ooh, that Just a little a bit more run. pop, yeah. That's... Good cleanup. It's still a one-stroke ball game moving into number nine. Hole nine, uh, par five in the woods. I love it so much. You want to land your drive to the right of that white Amando arrow that you see here. Make it around the corner if necessary. If not, just throw a straight shot all the way up to the outside of the green. Hopefully make yourself a long putt, get an eagle, maybe a birdie, and, you know, a par's okay too. <laughs> Let's see what Juliana has here. You just have to be right, like you said. Leaking off left ensures that you have to waste a shot to just get to the corner. Calvin Come on, get rips over. it. Is the elevation going to stop him? Go. Oh. Just did not turn as much as he thought, and that's not a good position to be. You're almost wanting to throw a turnover from oh, this tee pad. absolutely. Like a full turnover right. Landing where that um, second camera guy is in the background. Yes. That would be ideal. Undertaker from Paige. That's got to drift as well. Get over. Interesting. I mean, they could make it work from there, but maybe Germ can get something a little more on the right side. This is exactly what I thought he would do. <laughs> Come on, a little ground action. Yes. That's yes. exactly where you want to be for the eagle look, and you best believe they're both going to go for it. Okay. Okay. And a great little champ love there. Great kick.
big skip from Calvin. He kind of <laughs> misfired that one a little bit. And that's why it's great to have a partner. Well, look at this setup right before the other tea pad. <laughs> she rips into that disc. I believe it's an Undertaker again. Look at that oh, slow she's all fade. all the way up there. And nice. we could see Germ throw a Heiser Flip sidearm way down here. If that drifts go, go, left. Go, go, go. Oh, that was a little too inside. That's okay. Paige has got a great shot up there. Juliana going for around the same position. Look at this shot. Just smooth. Right at the landing zone. Green light for Calvin. This is an eagle, I believe. Oh, oh my, my gosh, all the way to the green? That's insane, Calvin. Save some for the rest of us. Golly. Wow. And we've both played this hole right? numerous times, Holly, and we know <laughs> oh. how long that corridor is. Mind blown. Nice little chip shot from Paige. Come on, Jeremy, throw it in. I mean, I just expect more from him at this point. <laughs> <laughs> he set a really high standard for himself he on the sure first did. hole. This is for a great save. <gasps> oh, get in there! Come on, basket. Why you gotta do that to her? Okay, Calvin. There we go. And that is an incredible birdie save. We had talked so much about how hard it is to birdie if you get left of that Mando and they just Wow, what a shot. That's the ultimate scramble birdie right there. Nice putt from Paige. That was just a really impressive upshot from Calvin from way down there, behind the fence, all the way over that mound. Here we are, hole nine. Another par five. No, this is not hole nine. This is actually hole 10. Excuse me. Uh, this is the one with the triple Mando. So you're going to mash a drive off the tee. You can try to make it into the triple Mando for a bird or just lay up outside of it for safety and then try to make a long putt. That stables up at the end. That is going to be the longest drive I probably oh, yeah. will ever see on this hole. No oh. way. All the way to the Mando from the T? Calvin? <laughs> what? Oh. Juliana just showing off her too. shot shaping. That is a beautiful line. Even Jeremy's impressed. He wanted to know what they're throwing. Paige trying to get a little drift as well. Is that in the bag because of you saw or is that yeah. always in the bag? Okay. Yeah. It's just incredible. This card has shot, 10 world championships on it. Okay. Wow. All amongst the FPO players, two of probably the best to have ever done it in this division. Oh, a big smash from Germ. Wonder if he's gonna make it all the way down there where Calvin is. Wow! Wow, Jeremy! What a shot! <laughs> Showing off the 2012 World Distance Champion distance again. So this is where Calvin ended up. A straight shot right into the green. Oh, and she hits something a little early, but still inside circle one. I'm still just sitting here in disbelief because I've just yet to see a shot this long on this hole. Well, they got some work to do on the putting green. 598, and they are nearly pin high. Oh, oh, wow. Paige going for the two through the triple Mando. And you know Germ wants to put this in. Oh, oh my God. This round is so exciting. I feel like I don't know what's going to happen at any moment. Somebody might throw it in from anywhere. Oh, we need Calvin to save this. This is about a 28, 30 footer. No gimme here. Right at the edge of the whisks. Oh. 
Nice. Yeah. Nice putt, Calvin. I love that Calvin's taking, you know, this round very seriously. He's taking his time on these long putts, and it's very easy to fall into some apathy and just goofing around a bit too much. And sure. He took his time and made the putt, and there's another birdie for Germ. Two nearly pin-high drives. That is just astounding to I me. I know. God, very impressive. We'll see you back in a few. Women are being featured in the magazine. The women are out there, the pro women, so then it kind of motivates a lot of us amateurs to like go out there and not be afraid. I would love to see more tournaments like this in the future for women's disc golf. I want to see more women filling spots in a tournament than men. That'd be something to brag about. Disc golf's legit and we're here to stay and we're gonna make names for ourselves. Say yes to disc golf! <laughs> Moving into number 11, 484 feet, par three. This is a tricky line. I would say a lefty backhand, honestly, is the best shot to get here, but the big flex going right to left. Righties are going to have to really punch something at this. What a gap. Yeah, Juliana taking the straight, Ooh. accurate approach. I oh. imagine Calvin might do the high hyzer over the canopy and let it crash in. Yeah, looks like he's going to go for the high flex. And he's going so high for that being 484. And he... Oh, that's a putt. Yeah, it's circle two. You got to get that way up there to get that far. The gentleman on the log in the background is actually a longtime Frisbee player named Frizzwiz, and he donated $500 to hole 16 if anyone gets a hole in one. So thank you, Mr. Frizzwiz. Paige with a Zeus trying to go high flex as well. Not enough height. Sometimes, though, if you throw as hard as Paige does, it can bust through the canopy. Yeah, Paige Ooh. winning distance this year with 501 being her distance. That's a pretty big hyzer from her there. I just love how difficult it is to get into this green. Even if you place your shot in the ideal area, it's still not an easy yeah. putt. We love it. We love I love it. the spike on that. Oh, yeah. So this was Calvin's Heiser Drive. I just love this. See, you've landed pin high and you still have to be creative with the putt. I mean, this is my kind of disc golf people. It's framed up for him. Almost clapped in your ear. You're lucky. I'm holding it back here, folks, trying not to scream at you and scare your dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting so excited with these shots. I mean, the level of talent, these long putts, these birdies, these eagles. I mean, this is what we came here to see. Yeah, what a birdie from Calvin. That is a huge drive and an awesome framed up putt from Circle Two. They are tied up four down to four down now. Jeremy needed to take a look at the putt Calvin and Juliana had to work with, and he's like, wow, Calvin, wow. <laughs> Hole 12, uh, another par 4 in the woods. I love it. 510 feet. It helps if you can land at or past that dead tree, and then you've got another very protected green to get into. It's hard to get a birdie 3 here, and sometimes the par feels like a birdie. Juliana, uh, again, Denied. just a foot off the line. Those middle trees did their job. Ooh, that that's low. But again, what you just need to get to the dead tree. Wow. He gets kind of the Anheuser skip off the ground yeah. and goes forward another t uh, 50 feet. I'm into it. Germ definitely was not. <laughs> Paige that, going a little early. Is the yeah. objective left? I mean, just... Oh, 
one flex sidearm. I think that was going to be close to about uh, perfect. But it wasn't. <laughs> but it was not. That is the name of the ga Get game in there. out here in the woods. Get up there. Oh, that's that's probably probably really oh a little bad. leap also, over I the log. I mean, that's putt. They can get a bird from there. I mean, just look at the shot shaping you have to get to get into the green. Taking that Ooh. low outside route. Okay. Again, circle two. They're going to have a little work. Here's Paige. Raptor. Nice upshot. That was nasty. Now Germ is able to throw a skip shot if he wants to. And wow, puts it even closer than Paige's. Yeah, CTP for Germ. A little too high. Sometimes that happens to me when I wear a hat. I miss uh, those limbs that are above the bill of a hat. I bet Jerm was thinking, Calvin, I swear, if you make this. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin cleaning up for the team. Paige just with the easy tap in. Wow. And they take a stroke. That birdie puts them to five under par. Moving into the next hole, hole number 13. Such a short hole, but a few options the players can take. From what I've seen, the cleanest line is the high stall backhand. Maybe something a little bit more overstable on Anheuser that falls straight down. A lot of people are doing what Paige is doing, though. Wide forehand challenging the skinny trees. And this is what I'm seeing a lot of the sidearms doing. Germ's going for the same thing. The leg steer always helps people. Body English. Oh, he's going high stall. Oh. Oh, one in the drink. Ooh. Oh, this is my favorite play. The straight gap. Wow, not bad at all. That was about a four foot gap that you have to hit. Yep. Calvin going left side stall. Mm. I think Juliana's is a little bit closer. Oh, this is a tricky putt. Elevated basket with the OB water behind. Can she do it? Ooh, airmail. And that might. So now they're both OB, right? I believe so. so oh, well, well, no, Jeremy still gets a chance. Yeah, Jeremy. It's a great thing about partners. <laughs> you never want to lay up here, though, you know? Right, so we'll not see. in doubles. Not in dubs. So close. Nice trajectory on it. It was. This is a, a very frustrating one to not get. This is a great spot for Juliana, especially going up the gut. Mm. Yeah, at only 215 feet, it feels like it's a must-get birdie. They didn't make it easy. You said earlier uh, you liked how serious Calvin was taking this round, and uh, I am too. He's not messing around. Mm, A little too just low. low. Yeah, they're really getting a lot of good worlds practice. I feel like they've had a bunch of 30 to 40 footers already. Yeah, it's fun to come out and practice the pressure putts around the green for the tournament. You know, some people played the Utah Open as a world's warm up and they get to do mixed dubs. So that's like double world's warm up. Wow. So that was the front nine. Absolute highlight fest. What a blast. Again, thank you so much for supporting Gatekeeper Media. We're going to continue to bring you awesome disc golf content. Make sure to subscribe to them on YouTube. We will catch you for the back nine. I'm Brian Earhart. I'm Holly Finley. Thanks for watching.